cheese. Cheese. Cheese, Daddy. Let's go to Edinburgh. So we have arrived in Edinburgh. Um, not gonna lie, we've just been for a cheeky KFC because we were starving. So, we're just walking up the Royal Mile now. Where are we heading to first? I don't know yet. Don't even know. But we'll show you bits as we go. Hang on, let me just show you Stu. Who's your friend, Stu? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm vlogging. <clears throat> Sit down next to him. Hang on. Yeah, I've sold that. Oh my <laughs> JK Rowling's handprints there. <laughs> on the Royal Mile. Go in there. On the way back? Yeah. This marks where? Site of the last public execution in Edinburgh. Look at that. Site of the last public execution. for some Harry Potter characters but there was a fire here sadly there we go just before we get there though this is the famous Greyfriars pub Ray Fry is Bobby. Um, if you want to know more about that story, head over to Stu's vlog. I will tag it in the comments below. Let's go That's see the statue. So they say to rub the dog's nose for luck. And that's why his nose has gone like that. So this is Grey Fryers. Looks like there's a bit of a tour going on now. Sorry about the wind. Okay, so like I said, if you want to know more about this graveyard, please check out Stu's vlog. That's what he's vlogging for now. Hang on to this vlog though, if you want to know about the Harry Potter influence in this graveyard. We're here for the Harry Potter. Stu's here for the scary stuff. architecture in this place is something else. Sorry if I'm a bit wobbly but I'm trying to do this. <laughs> oh, no, On oh, like a gravelly path. Okay so this is where I was just stood. Hang on let me just put the brakes on the pram so the barber doesn't roll off. Just here and I was pointing at this graveyard so this is where JK Rowling would have sat and looked out at this graveyard. Which, if you're a Harry Potter fan, is um, gives you all the feels. It does me. And also, I haven't said, but it's my birthday today. So it's nice that we're in Edinburgh and we're looking at everything that we like. 
and it's a very, very nice city. There's his first name, William McGonagall, poet. And it's on the wall that is showing the school. However, I'm not going to show the school because it's a school, but apparently that was the inspiration for Hogwarts. You'll see the top there. Now, this isn't one I've seen before, but that there says Professor Dumber. Could that be Professor Dumbledore? Thomas Riddle. There's the inspo for Moody's, Mad Eye Moody. I Once you come out. You talk about ghosts and poltergeists, I think the more you just psych yourself and give yourself like this sort of feeling that there's something on the supernatural there. Bobby, let's say buddy. I need to get out and bless him. Yay. Hi, baby. So this tomb is supposed to be extremely haunted. It's where the Bloody Mackenzie is and as far as I'm aware, he was responsible for the majority of the people that are in this graveyard. I have to check Stu's log out for the more info on that. Hi! Hi! <laughs> what are you doing in there? You see more of the school there. Phenomenal. And you can just see the Edinburgh Castle peeking through those trees. Hi! You okay? Burning off some energy. Hi, Mummy. Hi, Bob. So now we're going to go see Greyfriar Bobby, the dog his grave. There's there. Robert Burns lived there. There you go. Burns night. So we've reached Edinburgh Castle. Looking a bit grey now. It's gone so windy. But it is absolutely beautiful. Outside. So the cannon goes off one o'clock every day except for Sundays and public holidays like Good Friday and things like that. But we didn't hear it. What were we doing at one o'clock? We would have been in we were walking. Grey Friars? Yeah. <laughs> Echo, echo. That's what you're on about earlier.
Okay, so we've just got absolutely drenched because the heavens have opened. Um, so we've come back to the train station now and we're having a little Starbies. But we've had a, a lovely day, haven't we? Yeah. Been a really nice day. Uh, de we're definitely going to come back, aren't we? Yeah. Definitely going to come back. Bobby's been as good as gold too, so I would highly, highly recommend Edinburgh.